Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars and I wanted to talk a little about a childhood wounding experience uh, that I ran into only on the astral plane uh, which it seems very severe. There, there are a number of these actually that I'd like to talk about. Uh, in the one instance you know, all children go through a phase in their in their childhood where they're learning about their sexuality, and typically they learn about it from their sisters and brothers or from their playmates, uh, without uh, without a lot of adult supervision. And uh, in this case, the there was a young boy who was learning about sexuality uh, from his sister, his younger sister, I assume, and when his father found out about it. He actually mutilated the boy's genitals, um, but so the in that in in that action, he also expressed verbally that he was doing it for the child's own good, for his own benefit, and like develop ethical development as a person. Of course, this is a massive distortion of the light, um, and. And the things that are for our own good in the world and for the good of our souls inevitably involve great joy. Um, so the optimal path through for soul evolution involves a pursuit of happiness and joy and love and light, appreciation and gratitude and so forth, the cultivation of those emotions and not the intense suffering and social stigma, stigmata of involved in genital um, mutilation. This is the very farthest from, from the way for a father to raise his children, the farthest from the light. Okay, so but at a very young age, this young person learned uh, this very hard lesson to the effect that suffering and self mutilation and self hatred, hatred of the body, were good for the soul, good for the character, and good for a person's ethics, which was a completely wrong thing. This also, this lack of genitals also cast him into the role of homosexual for the rest of his life. He had not the ability to, to carry out the normal sex act that a man, that he was in, inclined to perform as a man. So uh, he, he was forced into the role of um, rather like that of a woman, and this was this this was a further distortion of of his light that in, that involved uh, going against his own principles, going against his own um, desires, and so forth. So he had to deal with all these things, and in doing so, uh, he came to an understanding at a more mature age. A false understanding based on these false learning experiences of his youth, the great soul wounding of his youth, and no doubt of many prior lifetimes, that uh, cruelty to people was for their own good. Now there is a, a form of ethics out there that has to do with, in the, in the same way, with a kind of a tyranny against the free will of humankind, with the notion that there's a master plan that needs to be put into effect um, so as to perfect the world, perfect so human society, and so forth. Such was the case with the reign of Hitler uh, when uh, there was a plan that there were certain types of people that were the right people to be alive on earth and that everyone else, including the Polish peoples and the Jewish peoples and probably many others, deserved to be put to death so as to implement the plan. In addition, it was felt that these people were so um, uh, uh, inferior to the favored race of people that it would be all right, it would be ethical to perform surgical experiments on them, no matter what the pain that was inflicted, no matter though it resulted in their it, in their torture and in their death, for the sake of society and for the sake of development of the scientific body of knowledge of, of, of medicine and genetics and so forth. And these per experiments were performed, okay? 
this um, this type of philosophy that uh, the ends justify any any means that are used to attain them is purported by various groups of people in the world today including some genetic engineering experiments experiments with uh, uh, paranormal abilities and um, and in the experiment that I'm about to explain. Because people who have great um, uh, soul trauma in childhood have to have to resolve that trauma in their adult lives or else are doomed to act it out time after time or to inflict that trauma on other people um, and and see it acted out in these other people uh, which is called like substitution right in psychology I think so um, their their cases are coming before the world right now during the awakening process first this includes people such as the young person that the the blameless young person that I mentioned before the uh, then there's a case of um, some young people who see their fathers slaughter their mothers before their eyes or vice versa even maybe the mother poisons the father um, there are young people who are even chained to chained to a bed or, or like that kept in a, in a closet for all their lives until they somehow escape or else pass on there there are cases of a vast and extreme soul wounding in childhood and these are coming up now because the light won't support them staying on earth unless they clear and what is also coming up right now is acting out or substitute acting out of the soul trauma of early childhood uh, so that this will come up to the awareness of the conscious mind and so that it can be resolved through the incoming light this is true for all these peoples so now back to the first young man of whom I spoke apparently this young this young person who since grew up started having um, daydreams about acting out uh, to do with his early childhood wounding and what these daydreams were which were very horrifying to me was the bringing up to awareness just as we mentioned before whether they were actually carried out in reality seems very unlikely to me a very moot point uh, the likelihood is that dreams like this which come as astral stories into the newosphere are just the, the welling up of this old wounding so that it can be resolved but I will tell you what kind of dreams result from such early wounding uh, this particular dream had to do with with felons and the notion that they could be like is it called repatriated to like good work in the community by transforming male felons into women and so um, uh, in the astral stories in these daydreams these felons were transformed through uh, gender operation to transgender females I have mentioned this before but and I've also discussed before the results of that which is that they turn to serial killing because of the great wounding in their genitals and because they're unable to express their um, their sexual drive so then they turn to, to killing instead because the the cells that are gone from their um, from their sexual organs have been killed and there's still a memory of this killing of the cells so this brings up the notion of of killing and then it gets turned into this uh, this this acting out of killing all right so so in the daydream what happened is an unfortunate series of incidents of acting out this notion combined with the notion that any means for for a great end of transforming humanity for the better and what resulted from that kind of philosophy in the daydream is is something very very dark and and uh, distorted in the light was a bunch of transgender uh, felons who became serial killers so so then when that daydream transpires then the next thing to do is to figure you know I've had this daydream based on my early childhood learning now obviously this learning was faulty or the daydream would have turned out better 
right? So what can I do to change my learning experience and transform it to something more true? <sighs> then there was a case, let's see, that's come up on the astral plane of um, uh, two cases uh, where involving killing of women in childhood. One was a case where the father, um, the, the boy's mother went off someplace and deserted him at an early age, and the father had a series of call girls in, and, and then because of the culture, which was some distant culture, because of the culture, kept on killing them right after having intercourse and, and it was socially acceptable there and so the young boy had the uh, opportunity to see mother substitute after mother substitute um, killed before his eyes and that gave him the notion that all the women that he he uh, he had for his own wife or significant other would be killed and this put before him constantly in his relationships with women the fear and the terror that he might do be, behave in the same way as his father so so in this case you know the daydreams would be back to the the early childhood experience and and on to the experience of all the women that he had ever known intimately and on to like daydreams about them being killed you know the potential for acting out and the, and then he would look as it as an understanding person he would look to these daydreams and he would say all right there was false learning in my childhood what was the falseness and what would be the greater truth to help with his own soul clearing process during this awakening this is the final instance that I have for you today has to do with for with a young man again um, just at the, the um, before or at the age of puberty who was experimenting sexually and it so often happens like this at that time that this type of thing happens um, he was experimenting sexually and he thought that the only way that he could um, do this experiment with a young girl that he knew was to somehow immobilize her first because he was he was concerned about you know that it was just a concern so he tried like um, chloroform or paint thinner or something as to um, to knock her he used some some chemical to, to over her over her nose to to render her temporarily subconscious I mean unconscious and so what happened was then she looked like she had passed on and he thought that he had killed her and so he 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 immediately associated in this in this state of terror he associated sexuality with killing women in a manner kind of similar to what had happened to the second case that we talked about I talked about just now and so now whenever he thinks of having sex with a woman or if he is like married to a woman he is always concerned that he might kill her you know he always says that and when he gets angry with a woman he has always to fight that uh, tendency to act out that early childhood drama so, what a childhood drama my gosh and so many people are coming up these days with these sorts of very deep dark soul woundings and bearing for the world the responsibility of clearing all those dark energy threads from planet earth well Let's all say a prayer for all the people involved in these sorts of energies and, and let us do our best to cheer them on in their great challenge and endeavor for new life on new earth.